Minister Biruta and delegation, first of all, warmly welcome to Jakarta. It is an honor for me to receive your first official visit to Indonesia. Rwanda is one of Indonesia's closest friends in Africa. Our two leaders have expressed their strong commitment to deepen our bilateral relation. Last year, Rwanda decided to open its embassy in Jakarta, which will be inaugurated later today. This will mark a new chapter in Indonesia-Rwanda relation. During the bilateral meeting, we discussed several important issues. First, on political and security cooperation. We are glad to announce that Indonesia and Rwanda have signed the MOU on political consultation. The MOU will serve as a basis to discuss various aspects of our bilateral cooperation and exchange views on regional and international issues. Indonesia and Rwanda have also intensified security cooperation in recent years. We are now finalizing an MOU between Indonesia and Rwanda National Police on combating transnational organized crime and enhancing capacity building. Hopefully, it will be signed soon. Second, on economic cooperation, we are glad that our bilateral trade is recovering steadily after the pandemic. Last year, our trade value increased by 100%, and in this first quarter this year, it increased by 32%. Nevertheless, we believe there is still an ample room to grow. To further boost our economic cooperation, today we signed the MOU on general cooperation, which encompasses, among others, trade, agriculture, industry, energy, and mining. We also discuss the establishment of preferential trade agreement, PTA, between Indonesia and Rwanda, and explore the possibility of establishing PTA between Indonesia and the East African Community, or EAC. Third, on people-to-people -people contact. Today, we have signed the agreement on visa exemption for holders of diplomatic and service passport that will simplify regulation on entry and stay for the two countries' officials and contribute to the strengthening of our friendly ties. Indonesia has granted Rwanda a visa on arrival status since February last year to intensify people-to-people -people contact, including B2B engagement. Aside from the bilateral issues, we also discuss global issues. On Palestine, we share the same views on the importance to step up effort to support Palestine, including promoting the implementation of two-state solution and Palestine's full membership in the UN. We closely monitor the development in Gaza, including the recent ceasefire proposal, and hope that permanent peace can be restored and humanitarian aid can be delivered unhampered. Minister Burita and I also agreed that the Global South needs to play a critical role in shaping the global agenda. The Global South must strengthen its unity and collaboration. And for that purpose, I mentioned that Indonesia will hold the second Indonesia-Africa Forum and we invite the participation of Rwanda. I'm so glad that Minister Biruta had confirmed the Rwanda participation to the second Indonesia-Africa Forum. May I now invite Minister Biruta to share your views. Minister, please. Dear Minister Marsudi, members of the press, let me start by stating that I'm delighted to be able to visit Indonesia for the first time. And I wish to thank my counterpart for inviting me and for hosting me. This visit marks a significant milestone in the relations between our two nations and I'm delighted to share the positive outcomes of our discussions. Today, the Foreign Minister of Indonesia and myself have signed a general cooperation agreement and a memorandum of understanding on political consultations, as well as a memorandum of understanding on visa 
exemption for official passports. These agreements underscore our mutual commitment to fostering a deeper and more structured partnership across various sectors. Our visit to Indonesia also provides the opportunity to officially open the Embassy of Rwanda in Jakarta. This embassy is a statement to our enduring friendship and we serve as a vital link in enhancing bilateral relations, facilitating diplomatic engagements, and providing services to our citizens. It also symbolizes our dedication to establishing a robust presence in Indonesia and furthering our diplomatic engagement in the region. During our comprehensive discussions, the Foreign Minister of Indonesia and myself extensively reviewed our bilateral cooperation in different sectors, including trade and investment and education, among others. Furthermore, we explored numerous avenues to boost our collaboration in areas of shared interests, including tourism, health, defense, and security. The conversation we have had today reflects the strong commitment of both our governments to strengthen the excellent relations between Rwanda and Indonesia, and we are determined to elevate this partnership to new heights, guided by mutual respect, shared interests, and a common vision for the future. Once again, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the government and the people of Indonesia for the home hospitality and the spirit of cooperation that has defined our engagement. I'm confident that the bonds of friendship between Rwanda and Indonesia will continue to flourish and yield tangible benefits for our two peoples. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much.